good morning, everybody. <laughs> On behalf of nearly 1,200 hooligans worldwide, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. The team is really excited to share all we have in store for you this year. I'd also like to welcome those of you who weren't able to make it here today, but are watching this instead the way you watch all your favorite shows on Hulu, on demand, while you're pretending to do work. <laughs> when we met last year, I said 2015 would be Hulu's breakout year. And breakout we did, through our content, through our marketing, through our technology, and through the extraordinary array of talent we partnered with to make Hulu part of the pop culture conversation. As you've likely seen, Hulu's content offerings expanded tremendously in the past 12 months. We've built a robust streaming service brimming with must-have shows and beloved classics. We've enhanced Hulu by offering an extraordinary array of movies and by giving subscribers the opportunity to add Showtime. We've released five outstanding new Hulu originals to widespread acclaim. We've made smart, strategic deals with studios and network producers to build a powerful content offering that you simply can't find anywhere else. These investments will yield powerful moments for us in the coming months, moments that you, our advertising partners, can take full advantage of. With our originals, we took big swings with many of Hollywood's top talents, and we marketed them aggressively. This strategy is gaining incredible momentum. This past President's Day, we launched 112263. It's an event series from the minds of Stephen King and J.J. Abrams, starring James Franco. On this day, we saw the largest number of subscribers join Hulu in our history. And here's the interesting part. While the allure of 112263 drew viewers in, they didn't just come to watch James Franco travel through time. They stayed and watched a wide variety of Hulu programming. In fact, we delivered more streams on Hulu that week than in any other week throughout all of 2015. And we've seen a similar pattern with each new original that we've debuted. We have a captive audience waiting to discover our content and your ads. So if 2015 was the year Hulu broke out, 2016 is the year we go bigger and bolder. We're doubling down on the strategy that brought us this far. We're expanding our content offering to include many new acquisitions, exciting collaborations with top creative talent, and a richer and more diverse content library, including kids programming and documentaries. And we're constantly embracing and experimenting with new formats, such as virtual reality. At the same time, we will continue to innovate and enhance the Hulu experience, so it's fully optimized whether you're on the go or in the family room. And in fact, 70% of our audience now watch Hulu on the big screen in the family room. We've literally put TV back in the TV. And thanks to our partnership with Comscore, we're able to measure viewership across all devices, including co-viewership in the living room. Our total audience now reaches 30 million unique viewers. This is a world of difference from when Hulu launched eight years ago on PCs, with an audience of college kids streaming Family Guy in their dorm rooms. They've grown up with us, and now Hulu has become a destination for the entire family. So in 2016, we're going to diversify and broaden our content so Hulu remains invaluable in the lives of our viewers. You know, it's not enough to offer a random basket of programming. You have to intelligently curate it. At Hulu, we understand viewing habits. We use data, but we don't rely on algorithms alone. Hulu's a brand that listens to each viewer. We embrace them with the same passion and respect for TV that fans have. And most of all, we constantly give them more reasons to keep watching. And it's working. We've expanded across every demographic and measure. I'm proud to report over the past year, Hulu has grown 33%. By the end of this month, we'll have reached 12 million subscribers. Hours per viewer is up 30%. And total streams, well, they're up 78%. By nearly every standard and metric of engagement, Hulu is on the rise, and there are no signs of slowing down. You know, advertising has been a cornerstone of television programming since Bull of the Clocks ran the first ever TV commercial 75 years ago this July. And advertising will remain a cornerstone of Hulu's foundation as we continue to redefine television so we can all be relevant to my 12-year-old daughter's generation. And by the way, she's in the audience today, and I think I just totally embarrassed her. <laughs> 
We deeply value our partnerships with advertisers, and I want to find new ways to collaborate with you to make advertising more innovative and impactful. And most importantly, most importantly, to connect you with the audiences that you want to reach. You know, Hulu is the only avenue, the only avenue to advertise in the premium streaming space. Think about that for just a second. Nearly 60% of all Americans stream content on an SVOD service, 60%. But yet Hulu is the only place where you can advertise. We give you the ability to connect to this audience with real scale and effectiveness. So in this really fragmented media landscape we find ourselves, Hulu presents a truly rare opportunity to reach all demographics, regardless of where, when, or how they're watching. You know, at Hulu, choice is always a winning proposition, and it's also at the heart of Hulu. As you're probably aware, last fall we launched an ad-free option. Our team conducted an extensive year-long study on viewer behavior as it, as it pertains to content and advertising. And our research proved exceedingly accurate. Six months after launching, I'm happy to report that the vast, vast majority of our viewers continue to embrace Hulu's ad-supported plan. This is a win for Hulu because having this choice welcomed many more people into the tent to explore all of our options. It's also a big win for advertisers, too because you're reaching a more receptive viewer. <coughs> and one more thing. As I said, we're all about choice and redefining television. You may have read recently that in early 2017, Hulu will begin offering subscribers live programming from broadcast and cable brands. This, mean view, this means our viewers will be able to enjoy live sports, news, and events all in real time without a traditional cable or satellite subscription. We're going to fuse the best of linear television and on-demand in a deeply personalized experience, optimized for the contemporary, always connected television fan. Very soon, fans will enjoy their favorite shows and their cheer for their favorite teams, all on Hulu. We'll be talking a lot about this in the coming year, but we wanted you to know about this first, because there's going to be a lot of opportunity for all of us in the future. But however you watch, Hulu is inviting audiences to come TV with us, and they are accepting that invitation in droves. We invite you, our advertising partners, to come TV with us as well, so that we can engage and entertain the next generation of television fans together. Thank you again for being here this morning, and please enjoy the rest of the presentation. We need fresh voices on television. I know. Oh.